Deuteronomy 34 is the final chapter of the book. Moses dies at age 120, still full of vigor and with eyes that haven't dimmed. Joshua is full of the spirit of wisdom because Moses laid hands on him. That, of course, is the Holy Spirit. There's just one spirit believers have. We think of the laying on of hands to receive the spirit as something we see in the New Testament, but here it is. And Paul prays for the believers in Ephesus that they will receive the spirit of wisdom. We're told that there was never another prophet like Moses. He knew God face to face. He performed signs and wonders in Egypt. And as it says, he displayed mighty power and did deeds of terror in the sight of Israel. But Moses didn't do those things. God did them. There was none like Moses because there is none like God. God took Moses as his own from the time he was a baby, from before he was born, giving him Levite parents. He gave Moses an upbringing that would prepare him for the task God would give him. He led Moses into the wilderness and then called him. He gave Moses everything he needed and then some to get the job done. You are special. There's none like you. Because there is none like our God. He raises us up and gives us work to complete, not because of anything in ourselves, but because of his life in us. He even uses those who haven't given their lives to him because it blesses his children. He does it all for our good, for his glory. Our job isn't to become better and better so that we can be great at the work God has given us. Our job is to realize how weak we are. Our job is to realize our nothingness apart from God's life in us. Our job is to humble ourselves and acknowledge him. Our job is to surrender over every part of our lives, offering it all to him to consecrate and use for his purposes. There was none like Moses because he was humble. He knew who God was and who he was compared to God. There was no one more humble and meek, and it's the meek that inherit the earth.